I'm doing another quick reel mowing maintenance video for you today. I'm going to show you how to do some back lapping. So normally, to sharpen th these blades, you got to spin the blades in reverse like this. So instead of the cutting direction, now when you turn the wheel, it spins freely backwards. If you're pushing it like you're mowing the lawn, notice it goes that way. If you want to sharpen it, you got to spin it backwards. And to sharpen it, I got some valve grinding compound. This is actually recommended in the manual. And this stuff is kind of special. It's not normal lapping compound. You could use lapping compound, but that's exactly what this is. Valve lapping compound. If you look on the back of the box here, it'll actually tell you that it starts at 120 grit and works its way down to 220. So it starts out pretty coarse, and the longer you work it, the finer it gets. Now, I did start this already, so I already pulled the wheel off, and I showed you in my last video how I pulled that off and put the wheel back on. So I'm kind of starting a little late here. What you need, uh, you could take the gear off and put it in reverse, and reverse, put the pinion that was on this side, put it over there, take the one that was on that side, put it over here, and then push it down the driveway with this valve compound. So that stuff that I squirted out of that tube, I just took my finger and I wiped it along each of these blades. I just spun it a little bit, put some on the blade. And then, because I was feeling lazy, I just took one tire off, and I found an 11 sixteenths wrench will work with this. So if you have a deep socket wrench, that would be even easier, but I didn't have a deep well socket, so I found this offset wrench here. And all I'm doing, is I'm just using this to spin this in reverse. See how that's working? I think that's probably pretty good. You can see that there's a lot of rust in these blades, but you know that was basically what's doing the cutting is that compound. And when you start out, it sounds really gritty, but as you keep going, it smooths out. Now, before we put it in forward, we're gonna want to wipe this off, and ideally, I'll take it outside and wash it. But it's dark out right now, so I'll do that tomorrow. We'll wipe that off, and we'll put the wheel back on, which is quite easy. In fact, I'll see if I can do this one-handed. That goes back on, and you can see it doesn't spin the wheel. And that's the forward cut direction. Pretty greasy. In fact, I want to put some more grease on there. Wheel. Goes back on. You can see it only goes one way. And then this little clip right here that I showed you guys last time, I took that off with the flathead screwdriver. That just snaps back into place here. I'm trying to hold my phone at the same time. I'm not using my tripod today. So I apologize. That's pretty much all you do to backlap a manual push reel mower.